Hey guys, I'm finally back after an incredibly long hiatus of around a month. Uh, today I'm going to be starting a new series on this channel that will hopefully stay long. It's going to be called Cooking with Weird Veggies. Um, and I'm going, I'm going to basically find as many weird veggies as I can and cook with them without a recipe or that many guidelines. And first one is going to be this Romanesco cauliflower, which is very cool looking. It's a cross between cauliflower and broccoli and a few other veggies, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and its characteristics are it's much tougher than cauliflower and has a slightly nuttier flavor. I'm going to try to turn it into pasta by baking it first to soften it up and then putting it into a butter and lemon and bacon pasta. First, I'm just going to chop it up by slicing the bottom core and then just breaking it into reasonable sized pieces. And then I'm going to soak it in water inside a salad spinner to get all the bugs and dirt out of it. And I'm just going to real quick clean my cutting board and then we're going to advance to the next part of the recipe which is cutting up the garlic because we want to have this prepped as fast as possible. So I'm going to peel a few cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to crush them because I learned how to do that and it's actually way easier and kind of fun actually. You crush it and it makes it way easier to peel off. And I'm just going to do five cloves of garlic because I want it to be a good, good deal garlicky. And I'm going to crush it using a crusher and then just kind of scrape out the rest that's left in there. And I want a lot of garlic in the cauliflower because, you know, garlic tastes good. So I'm going to get some garlic and I'm going to drizzle in a good amount of olive oil, so a good amount of salt, and some paprika, and some cumin, and some black pepper, which will make the cauliflower taste very good. Mix it up with a fork and I'm going to drizzle it over my Romanesco cauliflower that I dried using the salad spinner and just toss it until it's nice and coated. I opted to add like a way more um, olive oil and uh, salt because I didn't think it was flavored enough. And now we're going to dice up our shallot since we finished seasoning that, so I'm just going to chop it up. Oh, and the Romanesco cauliflower, you're supposed to bake it at around 350 Fahrenheit for uh, until it's golden brown. I've just finally diced up a shallot, and I've got my garlic here that I'm going to just chop up a good few cloves of it. I went for around 4 cloves because I thought that would be enough. These are a bit smaller than normal. Um, so you probably want to go for around 3 cloves. I'm just boiling some fettuccine over here. Uh, and while I do that, I'm going to start frying up some of, some good amount of bacon, which is around four strips. And I'm just cool. I'm just cleaning off the pan over there. And I'm going to start uh, sautéing my garlic and shallots with some butter and olive oil until they're nice and caramelized. And I'm just going to crush my garlic in, and then. Gonna saute it until all the shallots and garlic are golden brown, and on the side I'm just gonna be sauteing or frying up my bacon until it's nice and crispy. And as you cook it, you'll see that the garlic and shallots become much more softer and golden brown. I, I'm gonna add in a lot of butter here, because that's what makes the that's what makes the pasta be really good. I'm also adding a glug of olive oil. And I'm just going to keep on frying and mixing. The bacon is getting almost good, so I'm going to to toss in my pasta. And then my bacon too. I'm going to not put in all of the bacon fat, but also just get in a bit of it, because it's going to add a lot of good flavor, and it's a good source of fat. So just kind of get it in. Don't really sweat it if you get a good bit of bacon fat in there. And just mix it up. I'm going to mix it up thoroughly. And then I'm throwing in my beautiful golden brown Romanesco cauliflower in there. This stuff is absolutely amazing. You can just eat it like that, actually. It's really good. So I'm just going to kind of throw it all in there. And then I'm going to just kind of mix it thoroughly, and then, yeah. It's, it's a bit hard to mix, because, you know, fettuccine is really heavy. But now I'm going to squeeze in around the juice of probably around two lemons, because uh, the other, there's like that's the only acidity that you really get. I'm also going to grate in some lemon zest. So you probably should zest it before you squeeze the juice out. This makes it a bit awkward. And I would definitely go for the zest of two lemons, because it's actually like, really good when you put a lot of zest in. I definitely didn't put enough in. And I'm just going to kind of scrape out the zest, and I'm going to mix it a bit more. And yeah, that's it. So it looks actually absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to taste it now. So it's absolutely delicious. Now, this was absolutely a beautiful success. It was absolutely delicious. The cauliflower was nice and firm, but also soft, so it didn't really taste too mushy. And yeah, it was really lively. Uh, this was definitely a success for something that I cooked without a recipe. I def I'll definitely be making this again if I get my hands on some Romanesco cauliflower. But without any further ado, um, I hope you enjoy. This was really fun to make. Uh, and yeah, see y'all later.